With more plug-in vehicles hitting the road these days, there are still plenty of options for people who have reservations about going electric. Chief among those reasons are range and the time it takes to charge a vehicle. But there's another reason some are delaying buying an EV, fires. Meteorologist Keith Carson takes a look at that in this week's report on Maine's changing climate. Electric vehicle fires get a lot of press when they happen. We'll get into the likelihood of an EV catching fire a bit later, but an emerging challenge is putting out a battery fire once it begins. We talked to Lieutenant Chris Swenson of the South Portland Fire Department about why these lithium battery fires are a different beast. The challenges of putting it out is, is just that, that it can, it'll create its own oxygen, it can sustain its own fire um, and get bigger and actually have little uh, explosions as it burns. So we got to be cautious too when we apply water to it that that can actually increase that fire. EV fires can burn significantly hotter than an internal combustion engine fire. Data from FEMA suggests a gas powered vehicle burns up to 1500 degrees, while a battery fire can reach over 2500 degrees. Currently, most fire departments don't have additional equipment or agents to combat this new type of fire. That means they're dousing these fires with at times as much as 20,000 gallons of water to extinguish them, or in other cases, securing the surrounding area and simply letting them burn themselves out. That has its own dangers, however, as chemicals can be emitted in the smoke. But there are solutions being developed as EVs continue to grow in popularity. Different products out there, different foams that are being developed um, that use different technologies than have been used in the past that we think of with other foams that create a blanket. There's foams that encapsulate the product a little bit more, thus inhibiting that reaction that keeps the fire going. Now the million dollar question, are EVs more likely to catch fire than gas cars? That data is a bit hard to come by as the National Fire Protection Association keeps track of total car fires, about 200,000 a year, but it does not at this time differentiate by gas, electric, or hybrid. We can do some reasonable extrapolation given that only about 1% of vehicles on the road are currently EVs, and Tesla, which is responsible for over half of the EVs in the United States, reported roughly five car fires per billion miles driven, compared to 55 fires per billion miles driven among all cars. One big caveat here, most car fires occur with older model cars, and currently there aren't many old EVs on the road, with the latest being about 2012. So more data is needed, but we can say with reasonable confidence that the risk of a fire in an EV isn't higher than that of a gas car. That matches up to what Lieutenant Swenson has seen as well. Are they more likely to catch fire than a gas car? They don't seem to be. Um, in my experience, we haven't experienced one here in South Portland yet, and we've had a bunch of other car fires um, that are not electric, uh, or battery powered. So I would say in my experience so far, they, they don't seem to be at any more risk to catch fire. All right, that's Keith Carson with that story.